Okay, so obviously by the title you can see that this is gonna be a how to fake a full set tutorial. In my opinion, um, to start off a full set you need really clean nails and to do that I am starting with a cuticle softener and I'm just putting it on my cuticles. Then I'm gonna dip my hand in some warm water that I put a little bit of conditioner, yes hair conditioner in, and I'm just gonna dip my hands in there for a good five minutes or so. And then after that, I'm just gonna take this cuticle cutter thing. I'm gonna go around and cut up all the dead ends on my cuticle. Um, be careful, I'm not a professional, but be careful because you will cut yourself. And then I'm just gonna push back my cuticles and I'll tell you why in the future steps. Okay, so this step is completely optional, but if you're like me and you're really good at painting, painting your left hand, but you completely suck at painting your right hand, then this is a great option for you. I'm using some Play-Doh, and I'm just going to stick it on the back of some barbecue skewers. Um, I just cut them in like thirds, and I'm going to stick it on the back of the nail, and then I'm going to go ahead and paint the nail. So like I said, you can... Put the nail on your nail and then go and paint it on your nail but i suck at that so this is what i'm doing and i also forgot to show you guys a step but this the nail that i'm using right here is from sally's um i did purchase some nails from amazon but it was a little bit too long and i just was not ready for that length yet <laughs> but the nail polish i'm using is la colors i'm not sure what the color is but i'll put it down below but i really like their colors and it's only two bucks Okay, so to start before you put on your nail, you wanna buff your nail with some emery board. I'm using the rough side of the emery board and then just to give my nail some texture and have the nail have something to grip onto. And then I'm gonna put some dehydrator on my nails to take away the oil um, so the glue doesn't lift after a while. This is a really key step to having long lasting press ons. And then, yes, I'm gonna be using Gorilla Super Glue. This is a tip from one of my homegirls. I'm gonna be using Gorilla Super Glue. It dries super quick. You don't have to worry about it being messy or let, um, taking a long time to dry or anything. Um, but I'm gonna just take the nail, put the super glue on, and then I'm gonna push it underneath my cuticle. So this is why you want to push your cuticles back so you're able to push the nail underneath your cuticle and it just gives it like a really seamless look and um, it looks like it's growing from your finger. This is an optional step. I just want it to be a little bit extra. Usually I just do my nails and it's just one color and I'm done, but I wanted to add a little bit of diamonds or so. This is my first time doing this, so I'm not super good, but I'll definitely get a little bit better. Um, but yeah, you're gonna use your top coat and you're gonna stick, on, stick it on and then just use your top coat and, and you're done. So this is pretty much it. If you guys like this video, thumbs up for more. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.